everyone. I am your average gamer. Thank you for watching. Let's get into the video. Welcome back to Diablo 2 Resurrected. In today's episode, I'm showing off a level 11 character who is focusing on the werewolf skills. And he is currently using Sivirb's set, which I have just put together. I've got this cudgel. Next, extra max damage, extra attack rating, damage to undead, extra defense, strength, lightning resist, fire resist. And that comes with the amulet, extra defense and cold resist, replenish life and regenerate mana, as well as Sivirb's ward, large shield, extra chance to block, poison resist, extra mana. So it's just a small set, only three items. But we'll see how that does for our early on level 11 wolf. Our current quest is the Forgotten Tower, so we'll go ahead and see if we can just take out the Countess with this equipment. All right. I don't currently have any of the um, special attacks with the wolf yet, because I'm too low of a level. Well, I just barely equipped this set to try it out. And it looks like it's significantly better than the random equipment I was wearing. I'm killing most enemies and champions in one or two hits. I guess I have a, some extra skills, so I might as well summon two extra wolves to help me for a few minutes. looking for the uh, Forgotten Tower, I think it's called. And we're going to roll on my stamina. Here we go. We found the tower. You go down to the bottom and kill the Countess. I can smell that this tower was abandoned. Yeah, it looks like this set actually is pretty good for the early game. Does a decent amount of damage. Got just some low level basic resistances there. But I also have mana and health regain. Let's just sit here for a minute, let our stamina regenerate. Alright, good enough. summon one raven. That's not the skills I'm currently focused on. I've just got Anthropy and Werewolf at the moment. And I'll switch down into these abilities later on. Um, I may also upgrade my wolves a bit just to fit with the theme. But if you give me a favor and leave a comment, let me know what your favorite druid builds are. And go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Oh, 
help me out a lot. But if you are new to the channel, I just play games and talk to you guys a little bit. I don't pretend to be a pro. I play how I, I figure most gamers probably play. And what you can expect if you buy the games that I'm talking about. If you were just a, you know, gamer dad or maybe you don't have any kids yet and you just game for fun occasionally. Anyway, as I was uh, trying to say, I've got some different playthroughs, got some different reviews, as well as uh, Let's Tries and random other videos. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. I'd like to keep doing this as a hobby. But you need a thousand subscribers before you can get onto the uh, partnership list and get any kind of revenue from your videos. So every like and comment and subscription helps. And if I can get that up there, I'll continue to make videos for hopefully a long time, as long as it can fund my hobby. And if not, then we'll just see how long I keep going. But I would appreciate the support. Alright, the Countess is just through this wall of fire here. Let's see how good I can do. I'm going to take out most of these weaker units first. I don't have to worry about them when I to kill the Countess. Actually, didn't have to worry about it. And I found a green helm. Curious to see what that one is. Berserker's headgear. Oh, nice. I'm not sure if I have this item or not. I know I don't have this set. So I'll try to keep searching, and if I find it, along with any other full sets, I'll try to make another episode and show them off. Oh, there we go. We finished off Countess. Completed that quest. I'll show Sivirbs set one more time. It's a pretty decent beginning set, so just get you going. So I hope you enjoyed that episode, and I hope you join me in the next one. Thank you all again, and as always, have a good day.